beautiful sunny morning, very bright. Oh, seagull. We're out here for just a short period. Um, we came out last night, had a nice night. I'm in a group art show out here called Love Malibu Style. So I thought I'd come out here and uh, do my piece, paint my submission for the show. It's a local Malibu artist, and I thought, why not keep it here and in this vibe and this inspiration? And uh, plus, we hadn't been out here in a while, so it's nice to, to be here. We're gonna be hanging out here all day, enjoying the beach. Uh, it's high tide right now, but uh, we have a very nice extreme low tide coming for the afternoon. But first, we gotta head to the uh, the art store down in Santa Monica. I gotta pick up a canvas so I can paint. I have a rough idea of what I wanna do. This is kinda how I approach these things. I just kinda do them uh, whatever I'm feeling. I have a few different styles that I like to do. This one is kind of a, gonna be a combo of a couple of things that I've had on paper and or digitally that I've never actually put to canvas. So. We'll see how that turns out. I, I don't know. I'll let you guys see the process, or as much of it as I as I can. And a nice beach vlog. All right, you missed her in the last vlog, but she's not getting away this time. Good morning, Miss. Good morning. How are you? I'm sleepy still. Still in your coffee mode. I interrupted your morning wake up. I was watching the Lou Pearlman documentary about boy bands. Oh boy. My mom sent it to me and it's fascinating. I fell asleep watching it so now I was finishing it. <laughs> okay. It's so bright out there I had to put my sunglasses well, on. Well yeah, it's that winter sun. The angle is so um, lower, intense. a lot lower. And it, if you see how our deck is, you can see how the sun comes all the way to here, which that's only in the winter time. Because yeah. in the summer, in the summer it barely gets to where that shadow is um, because the, it the sun is at such a higher angle. So now it's at a lower angle, so it, it peers in. So we have to keep this thing closed because it just, it's its powerful. We it appreciate is. it, we love it. Yeah, no, I love it, but I'm still like, whoa. Now I was saying to everybody about uh, having to, you know, do this painting today. This is right here, you guys have probably seen this before, maybe you haven't, but this has been in the background of a lot of our vlogs. This was painted for an, a Malibu art show some years back and uh, we didn't sell it, so we kept it, and we, we like it, so it stays. Uh, well, I think it was just too big. Yeah, I, I, I was feeling ambitious. There's here's, a, the, here's the thing, though. The one over our fireplace, I feel like if you would have like put that in an art show, this was also how long ago? It's a while ago. T 10 years ago. If you would have put the one over the fireplace in the art show, it would have sold, but I would have been so mad because that's well, my favorite yeah, piece. Well, yeah, it's one of those things where I liked it too and I didn't want to part with it. I'm in and... fact, like, I'm scheming to try and bring it to Orange County because it would, like... Yeah, good luck with that. All right, we need to get out of here. Um, I need to get to the art store. We're running late, as usual. <laughs> so, let's go. Going to uh, Blick Art Supplies. Blick, Blick. Oh, I went to one of those. Um, a few of those with you. Yeah, they're kind of a bigger chain, but okay. it's the closest to to where we are, without driving over to the valley. But mileage-wise, it's the closest. Um, you know, a lot of traffic down here, and uh, but it's our only option. And then here's the tunnel, McClure Tunnel. While you were talking, I was showing the pier. Oh yeah. And that's, you know, because you were talking about the traffic, I was like, yeah, that's, that's a big draw. Oh, look, the happy face. There it is. Maybe that's a sign it's going to be a good day. Yeah, oh, Mr. Blick. Ah, Mr. Blick. Any idea what you're going to get? Yeah, I just need a few um, colors that I don't have. And, uh, and then a, a canvas. Okay. Boy, thank you, kind sir. <laughs> Every time we come here, we find Bob Ross. Yeah, always. He's always here. Thank you very much. Goodbye, paint. All right, we are good. He 
he looks very pleased with all the purchases. <laughs> well, as long as he's happy, yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. We're back. Uh, Katie went to run some errands. I got started. So this piece I'm doing uh, involves a palm tree, and uh, you'll see how it progresses. But um, that's kind of the the main focus of the piece is that uh, it's a palm with some uh, kind of abstraction color stuff in the background that you'll see me do. Now I've already started my sketch for the palm tree uh, for the stencil because I'm using a, a stencil technique to do the palm tree over the abstraction. That'll be the last step is to put the palm tree on there. I'm thinking I'm going to do the palm tree in white over a bunch of these color abstractions I'm doing so it really kind of stands out contrasty. Uh, kind of has a stylistic look uh, being that it's white because you don't see really a white palm tree anywhere. You see maybe a silhouetted palm tree that's like dark or black or something like that but I'm doing white just to you know be a little different and uh, so I've started the sketch on some uh, poster board. There it is. And then I'm going to cut that out uh, with a like a utility knife, like a razor blade, and uh, then we'll have the long trunk uh, going down to the bottom, and then all of this background uh, will be all the color abstractions and uh, doodads and whatnots. And it's crazy because I haven't done anything in so long. Um, the last piece I did was a traditional graffiti piece over there at the Fame Yard on Melrose in Los Angeles uh, for the event for Go Spray Paint and for Gorilla One. Uh, Gorilla One, by the way, is also involved in, in this show that I'm doing, uh, Love Malibu Style, and uh, as well as Sugar Press Art. Really honored to be asked to, to be a part of it. It's, um, it's a big deal. I'm in good company. It's a group show, a lot of different people. So I better get started. Um, I'm running behind. And a lot of this is prep, you know. Um, the fun part will be laying out all these colors and doing that kind of stuff. Uh, and then I got to cut out that stencil lay it on top there, get it centered and, and do that. And then, uh, and then we'll, we'll see how it comes out in the end. And let's not forget to mention what a beautiful day it is. The tide has now receded. Look at this. Remember the, this morning how it was coming up over the rocks? Well, the tide has gone out and it's a beautiful day here. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt and just enjoying it. And uh, we're gonna take this uh, process under my building as to not bother anybody with any spray paint smell. And, uh, you know, it's almost like going into a garage, you know? Uh, but it's, it's down there. It's, it's, it's down there below the building. So yeah, we will uh, head down there. I already took uh, my paint down there. I got kind of a makeshift easel set up uh, down there with a chair on top of a ladder. It's janky, but I'm gonna make it work though. All right, here we go. All right, I am below deck. Uh, here is my little makeshift setup. I've got a ladder, one of my chairs that I've left down here forever that's being just destroyed by the weather. And uh, there's the canvas right there. I've also got a couple of stencils I'm gonna be throwing in there. My Surf TCF stencil, that's my, uh, what would you call that? I guess my tag name, my graffiti name, and my crew, the chosen few, the city's finest. The palm tree will be kind of the centerpiece with the trunk going down, but then the outside is gonna be all this kind of colored abstraction. And over here I've got, uh, a plethora of colors to deal with kind of uh, isolated them in their categories there you got the yellows the reds the oranges the greens the blues the pinks the purples oh and then a lonely purple up here now another thing that I do to uh, just keep my hands clean because it's this is a it's a dirty process in a sense uh, I would get paint all over my hands and in my nails and have to be picking it out for weeks so I use latex gloves uh, to cover my hands while I'm painting, so that's uh, that's a technique. Uh, I'm not wearing a respirator for this because I'm not doing like a lot of fill, so to speak. I'm not like blowing a lot of paint like I would on a wall where I'm trying to cover a lot of area. So if you're uh, wondering why I'm not wearing my respirator, that's why. And uh, I'm out in the open here with the ocean air blowing in. There's a nice breeze and everything, so I'll be good. Uh, this shouldn't take too long. But yeah, I'm gonna throw a time lapse on it with the GoPro. I'll show some detail along the way. Uh, but this shouldn't take too long. It's really get, about getting a color balance and some layering and some depth uh, to the background uh, because once I'm done then I'm gonna let it dry and then lay that stencil of the, the palm tree over it and do that in white and that'll be that and uh, that'll be the big reveal once we peel that stencil off and see if it actually worked. I might even throw a shadow uh, on that palm tree to pop it off of uh, the background a little bit but for now we got to get on start covering that thing with some color making this thing happen. Here we go.
right. Uh, I think at some point I just have to kind of stop and then, because that's how, just going to be background. I could just do this for hours and just keep layering and layering. But I think I'm, uh, I think I'm good with it. I just wanted to give it some depth. Use my stencil a little bit, just some hazes and some fades, some colors, some tags, and just layered up so that now all I gotta do is cut out that palm tree and then lay it over the top, spray that, uh, probably do a shadow on it, and then do the white uh, palm tree on there. And uh, and that'll be it. it. Took me longer than I thought, but it's it's so funny just doing this abstract stuff. I like I want it to be a certain balance of color and not just be spotty spray paint, because when you look at it, there's layers and layers, and tons of layers and splatters and different things that make up all that color haze when you kind of step back and look at it. So I guess I'm good with it. I'm gonna let it go, let it be, stop while I'm ahead, quit while I'm ahead kind of thing, and uh, let that dry, and uh, it's time to go cut that stencil. All right, stencil time. Time to cut away tediously to create this palm tree. Wish me luck. All right, stencil is cut, palm tree is happening. So um, you can see that it's kind of curling up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I have some spray adhesive that I do very light and uh, to kind of hold it down on, on the surface to get a clean image. So I'll do that and I, I sometimes, and I sometimes do this thing where I hold it down with like a pencil as I spray it, you know, in sections. It's not, uh, it's not just like real easy. It's like you gotta do each little branch uh, separately so that you get all the fine little details of, uh, of the palm fronds. And, uh, and so there it is. That's the kind of the final prep step. Now I gotta just uh, take a hair dryer to that piece and really make sure it's all dry so that this doesn't stick to it um, and rip the paint up. But yeah, we're getting there. On top of that, the sun is starting to set. It's been a long day. I haven't even hit the beach yet. Maybe we'll go for a little beach walk and take a, a little break now since I got most of the work done. This stuff ain't easy for <laughs> something that's so simple uh, in theory. Uh, if you want to do it right, you got to do all the proper steps um, to make it work and uh, otherwise you're wasting your time. So uh, each step is important and uh, Art is, uh, it's fun and it's rewarding in the end after all that work, but uh, when you're in it, it's like, oh man, whew, I haven't been doing this enough. I'm, I'm out of uh, art shape or <laughs> who knows what you call it, but uh, I think it might be time for a little little beach walk while that sun sets and uh, get a little, little break. I've been going for, I don't know, a lot of hours. <laughs> This is golden hour. We're in it. It's Hi. happening. It's all happening. Golden hour. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty so awesome. pretty. Pretty awesome. I wanted to be out here all day, whereas I was down there painting and people were walking on the low tide and enjoying themselves. And I was like, oh, I'm stuck under the building. Oh, so I mean, stuck. I enjoy doing the paintings. Don't get me wrong. It's just that I want to do both. Well, especially because we're not down here so often, so... Yeah, and I came up on a deadline that I've known about this show since November, and I waited till the last minute, like I always do. So it's kind of my own fault, but that's what motivates me sometimes. Yeah, you you and I are the same. We work well under pressure. Yeah, it motivates me. Yeah, when know? I have too much time, yeah, I tend to not do my best work. And I likely, if I did that piece earlier, I likely would have been by now disappointed with it and wanted to do another one. So it really... It's better that you just <laughs> yeah. wait till the last second, yeah. do it, and then be done with it. Exactly. So there's like a kind of a hazy, hazy layer out there that the sun seems to have already dipped 
behind that. Yeah. So we're not seeing it hitting the water today like we did yesterday, so that's the difference. But I guarantee you all those clouds are gonna light up. Uh, they're gonna keep you know, changing and, and getting pinker as the sun goes further down. So we're gonna get some dynamic colors very soon. I mean, it's already amazing. Yeah. But uh, prepare for it to change. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. And we're blessed with this low tide today where the tide pools are all exposed. Pretty awesome. I heard somebody who was walking by today say, that they had seen an octopus. I overheard, I was hearing conversations as I was painting, you know, people on the beach. And somebody said they'd seen an octopus, which I have seen here before. They're tiny, but they do exist. Oh, Katie's silhouette. Starting to uh, get more pink and orange down this way. And then when we look back at the source, it's changed dramatically. But now you can see the contrast of the blue and those little funny little clouds up there are uh, starting to be pink. I think I have more sunsets on my phone than anything, even more than Disneyland photos, believe it or not. It's probably a close competition, but I have to say, sunsets dominate my photo stream on my phone. A lot of megabytes dedicated to those because they're all so unique I mean look at this this thing is just doing its thing man and it kind of fades out there's Katie taking photos using up her photo stream as well you guys see the hidden Mickey palm trees down there look at that is that not the coolest thing ever I don't think anybody else sees that here except us. Yeah. That's for sure. Looks like that is the stencil. Yeah, there it is. So the idea is to, the color that you see will all be covered with white and the background will be left uh, with all the chaotic colors. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it works. Do you feel confident or? I do, okay. I do, but there's always that unknown of like, you don't know, you know? It's like when you do a silk screen and if, if you know anything about silk screen, you, you lay the screen down and on the shirt or whatever you're doing, you load the screen up with ink, you pull it through with the squeegee and get the ink through the screen, you peel it up and there's always that like, as you're peeling it up, like hoping that it looks good and nine times out of 10 it does because the technique has been proven over and over and over. Mm -hmm. Same thing with stencils, I've done a lot of stencils. Um, so I know that this is I, it should work. There, there's no reason why. It's just about not loading too much paint on the stencil because I have such fine detail in the palm fronds that I don't want to put too much paint there to where it'll bleed under. Yeah. That's my fear because I want those palm frond uh, points to be very sharp because that's how they look in, in, in Is nature. Is there a way to fix it? There's really no way to fix it because of the nature of how I'm doing this. To go, I could go back maybe and touch it up with a brush, but it might look different texture wise mm -hmm. than spray paint. Do you know what I mean? Spray paint is very fine and, and, and like a layer as opposed to brush, you can see the strokes and the thickness of the paint. So yeah, it has to work. Right, and we're gonna reveal this thing now. Let's hope for the best. You guys are seeing it along with me for the first time. I have not peeled this back. I hope it worked. This is a little nerve wracking. This is the, the part that all those steps all that preparation leads to this point right here and I'm just hoping that I did everything the correct way so here we go all right so there it is uh, not bad all right, well, it is uh, the next day. 
this vlog continues. <laughs> Anyways, the piece is done. I can show you in some proper lighting what it looks like. Uh, hopefully you guys like it. It's pretty much the idea I had. You know what I mean? Give or take. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the process of me making a piece of art for the Love Malibu style show, which is opening on February 5th at the Tracy Park Gallery in Malibu. It's going to be a great show. A lot of great artists involved, and uh, I'm grateful to be a part of it. And I'm glad that you guys got to share a little beach time with us and see a beautiful sunset. Yeah, that was fun. Um, it was, we kind of planned on being outside a little bit more today, but... Yeah. Oddly, it was all sunny and nice yesterday. Not today. It was cold. So it was. I'm like bundled up in blankets here and we have the heater on. It is cold. This is cold for us. This is California cold. Well, it's damp at the beach. So, uh, yes. you know, what do you expect? But anyways, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed that video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody.